We are living in a very, very difficult time when the entire country is outraged over what has happened to a young doctor in Kolkata. Why do you think we have repeatedly failed to ensure that women have a safe working environment, be it day or during the night? You yourself are a working woman. You know, I really am very deeply concerned about this societal failure to protect our women. I think it is shameful and, you know, as a woman, I really believe we are not doing enough to keep women safe in this country. Now, I just think that what we are seeing in this country is barbaric almost. Yes. I mean, you are seeing gang rapes or yeah. hearing of gang rapes almost every day, which is ridiculous. I mean, what are we doing to ourselves? What is our society come to? I think... Unless we really focus on women's issues, unless our economic development is about women, uh, is women centric and is about addressing these challenges that women face day in and day out, we are not going to be able to have the kind of progress we, we want. So I personally believe we all have to hang our heads in shame that we have actually witnessed such a horrendous and heinous crime. And that, you know, what is even more troublesome is the way this crime is trying to be covered up, which I think is terrible. I mean, who is behind this? Who is trying to cover up? Why is no one taking the kind of responsibility to make sure that this never happens again? You know, I think the Prime Minister made a very important statement on Independence Day. He actually talked about, you know, very, very severe punitive measures for anyone indulging in atrocities against women. And I really believe we all have to work towards making this country a safe country for women. Mm. At least I know that in Bangalore, we've always focused on making this a safe city for women. But I think the it has to be heightened. I think it, it is something that we just cannot any longer... Uh, ignore or 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 uh, not do enough about. Okay, you know, since you're speaking about Bengaluru, uh, you're trying to make that city, uh, city safe for women. Of course, it's about public spaces and it's also about workspaces. How do you fix it? Uh, that, you know, there are women like you who are in boardrooms, who run boardrooms. How do you ensure that these gender crimes are not normalized and there is a great degree of gender sensitivity? So, you know, in corporate India, of course, we are trying various measures to keep women safe in the workplace, but that's not enough. I think it's really about making women safe when they go out of your offices, you know, and even when they go and, uh, you know, enjoy the nightlife in a city, are they safe? You know, when uh, you cannot obviously keep a vigil on your uh, employees once they leave the workplace and they're back home, but are women safe even in their own neighborhoods? I think in this particular crime, you saw that the doctor was not safe within the hospital. I mean, how horrible is that? Yes. You know, I think if a woman can't do a night duty safely, I think that is awful. That, that speaks very badly about our country and our society. Women have to be safe. I remember when I was building my company... 40 years ago, I used to feel so safe in Bangalore. I used to drive at midnight, returning from work if I had to. And I didn't feel that I was unsafe. But today, I would think 10 times before I do that. That's how our country has, you know, sort of deteriorated in terms of keeping women safe. And we have to focus on this issue. No government can basically, uh, you know, uh, deny the fact that women's safety has to be at the forefront of everything they do. Okay, Ms. Shah, you know, uh, for an empowered woman like you, if you don't feel safe in a city that you've called uh, your home, your own for so many years, for over four decades, it's also a reflection on how these uh, predators perhaps have no fear of law, that the police in, you know, in crimes against women are also failing women. Yeah. 
And I think the Prime Minister made a statement saying that, you know, this almost needs to be a death sentence for people who commit these heinous crimes. So unless you have very severe punitive measures that you carry out, hmm. I don't think these animals are going to be scared, you know. We constantly, um, you know, find ways of giving bail to these people. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, leniency for, for these predators and these rapists, which I really don't think we should really, uh, you know, allow. So unless women feel that justice is being delivered, um, I don't think they'll feel safe. Okay. All right. Kiran Majumdar, sure. Pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much.